Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I finally solved the annoying DirectX issue. This is for AMD cards, however, it may work with Nvidia cards too. So after spending many, many hours on the internet, on Reddit, on forums, on benchmarking forums and various other places that I can't even remember just to try and find out as much information as I can. I documented most of the changes in my Discord, so if you're still struggling with this, I really recommend you join the channel, post what you've done, what you've tried, and share your thoughts with other people. We have quite a few people in there now that I'm helping, either in private chat or others, just to try and solve some of the issues. One of the big things that I think Call of Duty highlights is any significant flaw or bad setting in a system for the game. Other games might not give you an error, but Call of Duty seems to expose even the smallest of neglected settings. So it's really important that we spend a little bit of time configuring the system and making sure everything is correct. In this video, I'm going to go over exactly what I did to solve it. Hopefully you can try it and let me know if it helps you in the comments. I do appreciate this isn't going to fix it for everybody. And I also also appreciate and it's quite obvious that everybody has varying levels of computer knowledge. So if there's anything that I say in this video that you're unsure of or you try it and it doesn't work, please do ensure that you've followed the steps or you've done it properly and you try one thing at a time don't try doing 10 different things and then see if the game works try doing one thing at a time and then test it for a crash this is what i did and it's the safest way to ensure that you turn any or you restore any settings back to prior levels before starting the game again otherwise you could end up doing something completely forget you've done that and then this could mess your computer up further or reduce your fps cause further crashes or other errors so yeah keep a tab of what you are doing and let's get right into the video so what actually fixed it for me now believe it or not the final thing i tried was rolling back my drivers now i rolled back my drivers to 2.9.1 and this was on the amd card rx 6800 xt it was probably the only thing i tried as i really do like to have the latest drivers but i am aware that sometimes clock speeds and other things with the drivers can be slightly messed up so Going into my graphics card, I simply reduced the clock speed to the maximum boost speed, which for my GPU was 2310 megahertz, and I rolled back the drivers. I've now played the game for a week and not had a single crash. All the other things that I did have been taken off, so I know for certain that this is a fix for my particular issue. Now, I would say in general, it's fairly safe to make sure you start with your graphic card. And then if you've done absolutely everything and you're 100% certain it's got nothing to do with your graphic card, start looking at options for your CPU, temperatures, look at other hardware. So maybe turning XMP off, rebar, check your BIOS, check that it's up to date and, and just make sure that everything is as it should be because like I said, I think Call of Duty almost identifies vulnerable components of your PC where if settings are perfectly optimized for the game, then you get a lot of problems and it's really frustrating i get this but when you pay 70 pound on a game you do kind of want to get it working what i would secondly recommend is to make a custom profile for the game so amd software automatically boosts your clock speed of your graphic card to a number that is probably way higher than it actually supports if you go on the manufacturer's website so if you've got a sapphire graphics card like i have sapphire amd graphic card then the max clock speed is 2310 and the default speed is 2065 and once again if you watch my previous videos you can you can see how i 
how to actually set this and change this um, and other games the chances are it will run fine but Call of Duty being the delicate thing it is just doesn't allow this so make sure this is right roll back the drivers on the card to I would go up to, up to three iterations of previous versions and test it now some people that I've been helping on Call of Duty have been having their computer restart they've been getting kernel errors and other things a kernel error tends to point to a poor component or hardware within your PC so I would really recommend isolating each component taking out the RAM reseating the GPU checking the power cables to the GPU making sure they're optimized there it's getting the right amount of power your PSU is correct however I am aware that a lot of people just buy systems and don't really know the configurations it tends to be people that have their own systems that have built their own that are fairly familiar with all the settings so spend a little bit of time just learning these and i really hope this video helps you in trying to fix this infuriating error like i say do please join the discord i will do my very best to help you fix it and if you are stuck for a small fee i will help you try and fix it further by maybe using team viewer or something else to take control and just going for all the settings myself however if it's a hardware issue this is something that i can have very little impact on as it's going to mean you need to physically be at the computer anyway good luck out there enjoy gaming and let's hope we can enjoy the rest of season one error free thanks for watching guys if you've enjoyed this video please do comment like and subscribe and head over to my twitch stream and drop me a follow i am going to be going live in the next week or so